Okay, I want to make a really quick video showing how to do automated IoT payload testing. This way you don't have to do that hokey thing of typing everyone in, even though I usually do it because it's easier. But this is the easiest test bench I've ever seen. So I'll put a link to this, but this was taken from AWS samples. I actually have a number of test benches. Some use Lambda, some use certs. This one runs from your prompt, whether you're on Windows, Unix, Linux, or Mac, because it's just a simple bash shell script. And the only thing you need is the AWS CLI. If you don't have the AWS CLI, it's not going to work. But if you're in my course, of course, you have to install that. And if you're going to work with AWS seriously, you have to have the CLI. Because for a lot of things, it's really going to make things quicker. So this bash script just invokes the AWS CLI to send all this randomly generated data. For us, we're just using temperature and humidity. I'm going to show you how this works. And if you have AWS CLI 1, that's the one that doesn't use the base 64 encoding. You can use this command. If you have the AWS CLI 2, and my profile name is AWS 2. For most of you, you don't have AWS CLI v1, you have 2. It'll just be AWS, but this is for my specific system because that's how my profile is listed in my AWS CLI. So it's going to send it up here to OutTopic. For this, I set it for 10 iterations, and I'm going to wait five seconds between each iteration. I have it set for my home region. You can set it for whatever region you want with this specific command because it'll set that region flag for you, which is nice. And it's just going to generate data. So let's set this up. Go to AWS IoT Core. And you want to subscribe to OutTopic so you can see it coming in. As for my dashboard, I want to reset this because I don't want all that previous data in there. All right, so let's go ahead and run that script. I've already have it saved here in my file directory right here. So I'm just going to type in bash script. I already did it, so I'm just going to up arrow that. And it's going to run that exact same script I showed you. And now it's just running random data for 10 iterations here every 5 seconds. So there it goes, and let's look at what it looks like over here. So this is what it looks like in the MQTT test client when I subscribe to this topic, and let's go see what it looks like in our dashboard. All right, there are random data coming in, and just so you know, this is legit. I'll copy it over here, go to Firefox, reset that, and we'll have the same random data that will start to appear over here in Firefox as I have it over in Opera. Now I notice with Chrome this doesn't always work and that's because Chrome is catching my data rather than using that Ajax call to grab new data each time it's presentable in that S3 bucket. But that's adjustable on the settings for Chrome as well. But the other ones default to be able to grab this data. So you can see now we're getting a random piece of data pretty much every point. Not every point because we're fetching it every three seconds and it's only giving us a new data point every five seconds. So a minority of these points are going to be the same. And again, here's what it looks like over on Opera. Should be the exact same, just offset a little bit. And I thought you'd find that interesting just so you can have your own data producer script. And again, I have a number of them that use certs or use Lambda, but they're very handy for testing. Now we're going to move on to something more advanced in the next lecture. See you there.